Hospitals across the Bay Area bracing for a post-holiday surge in COVID cases, and so now even more people are rushing to get tested. KPX 5's Devin Feely spoke to an infectious disease expert to get his take on what an outbreak might look like. The test positivity rate in California has rocketed up to nearly 16%, meaning that roughly one out of every six people who are tested are in fact infected with the coronavirus. That's the bad news, but it's not the whole story. On average, it is a much milder disease. UCSF infectious disease expert Dr. Peter Chen Hong says the recent uptick in cases is largely caused by the Omicron variant, which spreads rapidly and readily, but does not appear to make most people severely sick. Because so many people are infected, even a smaller proportion of a larger number of people getting very sick means that our hospitals are on high alert. The good news so far, Dr. Chen Hung says, is that our hospitals are not yet overwhelmed, overrun with too many patients and too few beds, doctors, and nurses to care for them. He says the vaccines, while not perfect, have tamed the virus, made it manageable, survivable for most of us. As an infectious disease doctor, I would say the vaccines are still spectacular for COVID because they're preventing people from going to the hospital in droves like they used to before the vaccines. But if your goal is to avoid infection, public health officials say vaccines, booster shots, masks, and testing are still the guideposts that will help us navigate a seemingly never-ending pandemic. Devin Feely, KPIX 5. Happening tomorrow, the West Contra Costa Unified School District will start distributing 30,000 at-home COVID test kits. Officials want to make sure students and staff are COVID-free before heading back to school on Monday. The families can pick them up at Kennedy and Pinole Valley High Schools Sunday, January 2nd. And parents can go through the drive through between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and then test their child that day to get their test results.